Hello. Hi. Welcome to the LP by Andrew. It's Uncharted Territory 2 by M Up. And rules. And boots. Boots, apple, sapling, torches, and leather. And I don't know know how much of the series I actually recorded. It could be made of a lot of cuts and such. Not entirely sure. I've seen parts of this map played. I've played parts of this map. I kind of know what to expect. I know exactly what to expect. But I figured I might do a you know, quick LP anyway. I don't think I'll make this very long. Maybe an episode or two. So I think I'm just going to go chop down one of those trees, make some tools, and I'll get back with you in a second. Alright guys, I'm back, to back, and as you can see, I have nothing, because I died. So I'm going to get that stuff back, I'm going to continue making my tools, and I'll be back with you in a moment. So, I decided to go up this waterfall, because waterfalls always have something good at the top, so I figured I would check it out and see if there actually is anything good. So as I climb up this waterfall, I'm going to tell uh, um, a little tale. No, actually, no, I'm just going to climb the waterfall in complete silence. Like I said, this is uh, what I consider to be complete silence, and I find it interesting that silence is so complete often enough, and you know what, the waterfall has been climbed, therefore I no, no longer have to be silent. So as I make my way into this room that has a golden pick, a cake, an ender pearl I believe, and some sort of sword in this chest, I am going to go back down the waterfall, um, hop into this pool at the bottom, and uh, well that's not an issue at all actually. It's just that I can't regenerate the water flesh. And that, wow, that was a coincidence. I, I suddenly did not get poisoned. Uh, I'm going to grab this flower because I love flowers. They smell so good. And then I'm going to um, regenerate, and I will see you in a tad bit in a moment. Goodbye. Now, have a beautiful day. So it's actually becoming nighttime at this point, and I happen to know where I can find some wool to make a bed. So I'm going to go see if I can get, go get that. Uh... This dungeon I checked out a little bit earlier. It seems to be extremely good to get back to inside of it. And I believe that there it could it could pose some danger. Oh I should I should mention that when I died, uh I lost my pink booties and the pink booties were worn by a skeleton. I'm going to ignore that. They were worn by a skeleton at first, and then my skeleton dropped it. They expl exploded by a creeper. So I'm currently I have to get this bow, by the way, from the skeleton who accidentally dropped one. So I'm going to turn my difficulty to peaceful first, and I'm going to turn it back to easy. And I put this torch here on the ground. Um, let's see. I'm going to. I'm afraid that any of those could be silverfish. I'm going to. Open to put that spawner. Oh, there might be a spawner there. There might be a spawner of a zombie. And it took me a moment to see him. Look at that. After I ignored him, he died, so it was turned out not to be an issue. Oh, I'm going to drop that onto the ground. Oh, hey, look. I think that just was a trigger pressure plate and spawned a cave spawner. I'm going to ignore the cave spawner for now. As he attempts to kill me, to no avail, he might kill me. Oh, darn, 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 that was not an issue. That's right. Um, it's possible that I could die soon. Oh, these are still have little flares. It's interesting. Oh, hey, look, uh, a chest. Lucky for me, these flares do not catch me on fire. Oh, I just realized I'm not regenerating. You know, I'm not going to eat that, actually. I'm going to eat this cake. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, I'm still hungry. Hold on while I regenerate for a moment, please. Seems not feel. I think that's good enough. We're going to continue onwards. Oh, there's a the cake spider there. Hey! How's it going? Okay, now 
now we're going to use the shovel that I made earlier to come over here and... Oh, what was in those dispensers? I wonder what was in those dispensers. Probably what the most important that is that I just found. Oh, wow, that was another bow. I didn't prepare that. Now it's a full bow. Almost. I'm going to use this golden pick because it's awesome. And I'm going to put that torch there. Ignore the flares because those are annoying. You know what? I could use that glowstone actually. Oh, that was awesome. Just excuse me as I tra traverse down to the ground. I'm going to eat this. Flesh. And I believe this is the level one lacerator. I can now use this to punch stuff. Hey, yeah, you saw that? That was called getting punched. I don't like this. Okay, now I will put a torch down. And I'll go in the head and destroy these spawners. Now, obviously, I cannot access these chests because there's a block on top of them. Stuff under this chest. Um, definitely want to keep that uh, rose and get rid of the rotting flesh. You know, what, what can I drop? I have a lot of stuff on there. I need that glass bottle, I don't think. Uh, I don't really need, um, uh, let's see, the lacerator. <coughs> Onwards. Oh, hey, look at that. Um, that guy could be a poison issue, actually. Um, I don't have any rocks. Oh, I died. Um, one moment. I'm gonna so I come across this guy. I can't believe that one love would put such an evil character in here. Oh, wait, that's, that's just my dead stuff. So indie. Um, now I have rocks in my hot bar, so I can easily destroy this spawner, perhaps. Oh, it appears that I have super fair commands on, so it uh, does stuff, and I tried to do that. Can I use uh, axes and such? I won't use the commands, I don't think, maybe. Okay, so it looks like we finally found that thing to place, with the wool that I was talking about, the bed. So I'm going to go ahead and grab three of the wool. Click to go out of here. Um... Eat some cake. Die, 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 die. Okay, so I'm going to now eat this guy with a bow, and then do that. Just clean again. Oh, now you this. So, uh, uh, it's interesting because now that spider is attacking me. Um, we go ahead and eat the chicken. Alright, now it appears it's still nighttime, thankfully, so I, will stu um, I should still be able to sleep. That a creeper, it's possible that he could be guarding my workbench, however, which I set up over here. So I am forced to kill this creeper. Oh! Well, it turned out it was not necessary for me to kill that creeper. Oh, that was an accident. Alright, so now I have finally have a uh, bed. Now I should be able to sleep. Alright, so, I think we're about ready to move on. We have everything that we've ever owned on us. Now, uh, this is good because now we've reset our spawn to be right here instead of over there. Now it appears there's something up, up there that we can climb. Oh, there appears to be two skeletons running my path. I missed that guy. I didn't miss that guy. Because I am an amazing person. And I just punch that guy. And bam, bam. Two hit kill. Alright, now I'm going to use a sword. Because it's the only thing that I've ever owned that has fire aspect on it. There's the, there appears to be a house down there. I'm going to ignore it for now because it's probably crap. Put 
this torch here because somebody could probably spawn on that block. There appears to be something in that chest over there. I will, I will go check it out momentarily. First, I will look at the inter intersection. Alright, one moment. I'm going to go check what's in that okay, chest. Okay, so what was in the chest actually was a bunch of potions, which I think that this would be a wonderful time to use them actually. As I head into what I believe will be a dangerous area up here, the. Oh, no, wait a second, that was the wrong way. I need to go this way to the abandoned monument area. I believe this is one of the most dangerous areas of the map. It's probably the Black Wolf. Alright, yes, this appears to be the Victory Monument, so you can see it over there. Uh, unfortunately, it appears Amlop has not updated it to the Vex version with the bat spawners, which very much disappoints me. This is a BWOMG reference. Uh, this is a building box load. Here. This should have some building blocks in it, but I don't need any of that stuff. It's all worthless to me. Alright, so now we should be able to place our white wolf and, um... Date it! Oh my gosh, I apologize everybody. It appears I used the white wolf. Maybe I changed it to string or something to make a bed. Uh... I don't know. Uh, it was it was a complete and total accident on my part. I didn't mean to do it at all. I'll be right back while I go ahead and get that wool. Oh, I put myself into F5 mode. Alright, I'm back. And while I was getting the white wool, I also happened to come across the orange wool. So I thought I'd place that here. And I found a bed. While I was out about and about so I know so I picked that up I also found a lacerator somewhere I don't remember where actually um, I found some armor pieces some torches and I made a couple pieces of bread as you can see um, don't worry about that stuff I have kind of gone oh look at this it's an experience blaster yeah. That's that for the benches. Oh, there was experience in there. I should have take that out. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to make a chest to store some stuff in. Da -de -da -de -de. That looks pretty good. Actually. So I have two of those. Good. Um, so that's growing nicely. I'm going to go ahead and go on to the, into the next area. Don't know where that. So I'll meet you in the room. So we're pretty much at the next area now. It's this way. I, don't, I have no idea what the area is called. It has something to do with the fire or something, though. So open this up. Food and experience. I actually didn't have a helmet, so I'll be happy to take that. Now I have to be careful because over there, here, there should be some blazes. Let me get rid of the spawner before any, any spawn. Go away. Yeah. Yeah, goodbye. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Okay. Um, this all looks like pretty worthless. Not, so I'm going to leave it all there. Um, shoot this. Try to shoot this zombie. Haha, <laughs> burn! Let's also kill some of these skeletons. How about we? 
Haha, <laughs> you burned as well. It's interesting because he burned. Um. Just wonder about that. No? Oh my gosh. Run. I burned to death. Well then, that was interested. Um, I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to make you watch all the way until I get my stuff back. So as I walk, I am going to um, list off presidents of the United States in no particular order. Uh, Woodrow Wilson. Um, Barack Obama, uh, Rutherford B. Hayes, Lyndon, B. Lyndon Baines Johnson, um, George Washington, John Adams, Warren G. Harding, James K. Polk, uh, John Tyler, let's see, I believe Abraham Lincoln is also president or something, um, Andrew Jackson and Andrew Johnson, let's see, uh, it's tough to think about presidents while you're organizing your inventory. Um, uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Calvin Coolidge, uh, Millard Fillmore, let's see, um, John F. Kennedy, George W. Bush, George H. W. Bush. Bill Clinton. Can't forget about good old Bill Clinton. I have three votes in my inventory. Wow. That was easy fix. Um, let's see. Uh, Jimmy Carter. Can't forget about Jimmy. Old Jimmy Carter, um, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, um, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, James Monroe. That happened to be in order. I apologize because I lied. Look at that, floating lava. That reminds me of. Actually, nobody. I was going to say somebody, but I couldn't think of anybody. I was interested. Um, that little factoid about interesting things reminds me of... Oh, that ha just happened again. It, how interesting. I, I was going to say something, but then I couldn't think of anything, anything so it was a complete and total lie. That whole thing re reminded me of Gerald Ford, by the way. Oh. How about that? about Richard Nixon. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, William Henry Harrison. I believe William Harrison came la later, actually. Grover Cleveland. And Grover Cleveland. <laughs> the first president to have a telephone. His phone number was one. He also ended reconstruction. That's not fun. Zachary Taylor. Um, Andrew Jackson. I don't think I said him. Actually, I know I did. That was a complete lie. Let's 
see. I know I'm missing some. I think I only said like 43 or so. Or so. How on earth did that not blow up? That was ridiculous. I should see what I'm up. Oh, Dwight D. Eisenhower. There's definitely not a spider spawning behind the, the staircase here. Run away. I already see where we came from. Sorry if I sound sick to you. Ah, those are great spawners. These guards would spawn it. Unless it's like peer pressure or something. Oh, uh, perhaps I can. Ooh, I did. Oh, no, that's, that was flares that continue to persist. 
Wait, no, I already did. The spider up. Monument again, and we are we can place the wool. Magenta. Let's go ahead and take some cobblestone with us. Leave this behind. Let's go check see if it's night. Maybe we can sleep. Turns out we can. Uh, I think we will now continue on with the map. I'll meet you at the next door. How about this? Here he is, Truman. By the way, an explosion happened here. Shane Scarfield. <laughs>